right guys, for today's video, we return to Kelly Flats and what we're doing today is we're taking a 2019 Cherokee and my Jeep on that trail for today's Trail Tuesday. Let's see if we can do it. Now we're about to do Heart Attack Hill. And now Sean, his Jeep is extremely capable, but he is new to off-roading. So he's a little nervous about Heart Attack Hill, but we are gonna go do it. How you feel? Uh, I guess we'll see once we finish it. We'll now, if you guys saw my drone video, basically my drone was over that ledge, over there. So that's where we were last time on that. I have to go work, so we got to go a little bit quicker. You know, it's uh, definitely understandable. Sean is new with his Cherokee, so, you know, he's looking at some of this stuff. He's a little nervous. He's going to give it a try. We're going to see uh, what happens with it. I'm going to film. Now hard passenger. wasn't in the best angle for that but this is actually steep that's why they call it heart attack hill and when I was going looking for that drone I was uh, just in drone mode so I didn't really realize how steep it actually was I was just driving
Attack Hill. <laughs> exactly as the name suggests. All right, guys, we had just finished Heart Attack Hill. That Cherokee did amazing. If you guys have run it, you'd be impressed by it too. But now it's time for a beer rating because I told Sean once we finished it, we were going to drink our beers. All right, guys, you may have noticed that the Cherokee has a little teeny tiny dent. That was from me and Sean's last off-roading adventure together when we were snow wheeling. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the Cherokee's fault, but it just ended up sliding a little bit and slid into a tree. Once he gets that fixed, though, it's going to look just like a beautiful Cherokee again. And it's a learning experience that he has that uh, won't happen again, I'm sure. All right, guys, so I am in the shoots right now, and if I didn't have to go work, I would do this because I thought this was a lot bigger than it actually shows. I mean, this is, they're definitely big, don't get me wrong, but this is the whole point of having a stock vehicle. I can get through this a lot easier than the bigger guys can because, like, I have a lot more room. And I mean, this is nothing that the Rubicon can't handle. I would probably be in line and I would probably do, you know, this, but a two door. 132s can easily do the shoots. Sorry, I'm not getting out to get some really cool shots through these trees and this other stuff. I am getting dangerously close to uh, being at my last return point or my point of no return to get to work. So uh, we're trying to finish the trail.
right guys, I'm gonna make it on time to work and I'm gonna get some food beforehand, which is really good because I need some food before going to work. Anyway, these are my trail ratings for Kelly Flats. I think it is an amazing trail, great scenery, a really fun trail to do. And as you saw, two mall crawlers easily handled it. Hey. Um, hey. He, he took over for me today because I told him I'd be late. <laughs> So we've had a blast. Um, this thing's been pretty incredible, but this trail certainly doesn't let up. Every time we think we're getting out to the clear, there's another boulder section, there's another snowy section, there's another just crazy section. So we finally came out of it. Like, it's pretty brutal. I definitely sound stupid every time I do this. Hey, uh, how, See, like I do this all the time, you know, screw up, all that. <laughs>